Hi, this is Todd, and today is Thursday, June 17, 2010. And today I want to talk about some of the visual cues we're looking for when looking for painted lady caterpillars, Vanessa Cardulli, on thistles. And this thistle has been pretty much denuded by painted lady caterpillars. Um, over here we have a fourth thin star set to go fifth, but you see it's sitting in a nest. The strip patterns on the leaves that you usually see Um, usually they, silk it, uh, they strip it much like a thistle crescent or a uh, Biceotis Mylita. And uh, as you can see here, this leaf has been eaten off by painted lady caterpillars. There's a nest right there. Uh, we recently showed this nest. Another visual cue you're looking for is like this, where the nest has been silk together. And you can see sometimes uh, near the beginning of the nest, or where it ends, you can see uh, piles of grass up here. See if I can manipulate myself in the sun a lot better. Um, we can see where a small cater caterpillar has been. Um, there's another nest right here where a caterpillar is. So, if I give this a little bit of perspective, um, painted lady caterpillars definitely make unique nests on thistles. Um, the time to look for them is usually about a month after a large migration through your area. I live in northern Utah, and painted ladies do migrate in uh, every year, sometimes in huge numbers. Uh, when Mexico gets a lot of rainfall in the winter months, sometimes in limited numbers, but they usually come through. Depending upon how many come through has uh, every bit to do with the productivity of looking for painted lady caterpillars. Thanks.